Today is Saturday, and we are in Wichita, not playing poker. And we are on our way to the Wichita State basketball game. They play UConn at five. John and Kelsey are coming down, a couple friends of ours. And we're gonna grab a little steak dinner afterwards, probably a steak dinner. And have a great Saturday night. It's in my head, man, is you fake or loyal? Why no water, that the sign of baby, pick your poison. These little demons living underneath my bed, creeping. Know the real monster lives above them all, sleeping. That subtle breathing in your closet every single evening. Thought you'd never see me again, looks can be deceiving. When they hear the sound of the drum, they'll be saying, oh Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come. Huh, here we come. <laughs> Here we come, here we come I used to think that people die because they wicked Nowadays people wanna see you dead because you get to being ready for my tomb since I came up out the womb So no matter what I'm coming back and So we're testing out a new restaurant tonight that I have not had The Scotch and Sirloin <laughs> Sunday was gonna wake up early to play cards but I did not so now I don't know if I'm gonna go play or I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow time for a shower to decide so I've decided I think I'm gonna play some poker today New mindset, new week. I think we got this. Down to the Kansas star it is. There's like 16 on the list. A little egregious. I don't know if that's the right way to use that word or not. Sounds smart though. But hopefully we have a little bit different result than last week. Clear eyes and full hearts can't lose. Clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. <laughs> CNN projects that Barack Obama will be re-elected President of the United States. Holy cow, fam. We did it. We finally got a victory. Yes! yes! Plus 240. Not a huge victory, but... We got something under our belt for the week. I know last week started off good with a $900 victory. I got two outed, which was pretty gross after getting it all in on the flop, but we grinded it back. We played solid. We stayed in emotional control. We grinded it back. I actually had a couple solid hero calls. For the first one, I'll share it with you guys. I raised pre-flop on the button to $18. Total rando shows up. He had limped in the pot earlier. I have ace, king of hearts, and he calls. The flop, jack, jack six, rainbow board. He checks, so I check. No reason to blow to pot and get bluffed off my hand. The turn is a queen, and he decides to bet over pot. The pot's 36, or like 39, and he bets $40. Or full pot, I guess, not over pot. He bets $40. I have a gutter, I have two overs. Is he really betting this much with a jack? I guess he could. He's an unknown, so I call. The river is another jack. This time he goes all in for 140. That is over pot. He obviously knows I'm not folding a queen. I don't think he'd be doing this with any type of hand that has like showdown value under a queen, like a six or pocket tens, pocket nines, something like that. That'd be quite an uphill climb to get me to fold a queen. I toss in my chips, he says you're good, and throws his hand right into the muck. Ship it to daddy. Monday morning, it's 9 a.m. It's time we stack them and rack them. Last Wednesday I said that, and we were not 
in the stack and rack crew. But today is a different story. Let's get it! <laughs> That was a rare sight you witnessed. It was a vlogger vlogging a vlogger. Yeah. Mind equals blown. So I was a baby. I already got a breakfast pizza from Casey's on the way here. So I only got a quarter pound cheeseburger, like a knit. I got three quarter pound cheeseburger. No bun. Not a knit. Keto. Down 10 pounds. Weighed 250 the other day. That's right. Down 10 pounds. Weighed 250 two days ago. That's too many fries. Probably not going to finish that two. off. You get, you get three cars. Yes. Crazy. Okay, it is not my job to remind you to discard a card after the flop. Okay. If the after turn the card flop. comes out and you still have three cards, your hand is completely dead. And I'm going to tell you dead. something. There's 10 players at this table. There's 30 cards that are going to already be gone. Oh my god. So you want to want to think about uh, what two. your options are. Devin. Yeah. Check. 20. Just because it's Brian. I used to go on there and tell some of the regulars, I was like, you nitty mother Probably gonna play a very short session today. I gotta meet up with a couple buddies in town, take care of a few things, and then we got some short poker towards the end of the evening, pending I get done with all that stuff soon enough. So, let's go! Grabbing a little lunch where the hogs run wild. Victories plus one zero zero just a hundred. We made a hundred, so I love to dive around in it like a porpoise and burrow through it like a gopher and push it up and let it hit me on the head. Victory, not a huge one, but that's all we need, guys. We need small victories but we need consistent victories. So happy about that. Also, I forgot to do this last time, but shout out to 9to5Poker for putting Nick and I on their website. If you haven't checked out 9to5Poker, I'll put a link in the description down below. They uh, do a very good job of promoting the different poker vloggers on YouTube, and you can check out some other very cool vlogs. So shout out to them for getting Nick and I on their page. On to Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thursday night poker at the Star. Getting fueled up right now in South Hutch. Matt's joining me. Be on our way. Splash pots tonight, so after every full house, $100 on the very next hand. Let's ship it. And then there were three. Got them good tonight. Plus eight. Zero. That's what we got them for. 80 bucks. In for nine, out for 980. Pretty gross to start off, but we made a solid comeback. I think the other two guys also were victorious in their sessions. So here's a hand from tonight. You know, I was feeling it. Nick was playing at my table. We were having a great time. 
Problem was, I was super card dead. I hadn't played a hand in like three hands. So he opens the button to $18 and I'm in the small blind with a magnificent king queen off. I'm definitely not going anywhere. So I call the $18 and so do two other people. The flop, king of diamonds, 10 of diamonds, eight of diamonds, ship it to daddy. I check, no reason to lead out on this board and both of the other two guys check. Nick also checks. The turn is an offsuit six really doesn't change anything but I still don't think it's the time to take the lead here out of position with a monotone flop it could definitely bluff us off our hand and our hand is semi strong not crazy strong so we check the other two players check and this time Nick decides on a $40 turn C bet so I call the $40 and both the other players fold the river is an offsuit deuce, not changing anything. I check again, and this time he bets $60. It's super small. My gut tells me we should fold, but because of the price and because of the strength of our hand, I think that uh, it would be unwise for us to fold here in the long run. I decide to toss in the chips and give it all to him. He gets it all. Pocket six is turned to set. Nice hand. So I had this wild idea the other day. There was a lot of feedback online that was saying, you know, people really like to see live action, cards coming in, bets going out, so on and so forth. A, that's super hard to do at the underground game I play in, or any underground game for that matter. B, it's nearly impossible to do at the Kansas Star because of the way the cup holders are situated on the tables. The only way to film your hands is to sneak your phone into the cup holders, turn your brightness down and hope that the security does not see. But you have to be sitting like eight handed is the only time it works to where you can situate your chips off to the side and your phone in the cup holder and it's still super awkward to have your phone there especially if you're getting text messages while you're trying to film your cards and whatnot. So I had this idea. I said, hey, I'm gonna call the guys. I'm gonna go set up a poker table and we're just gonna have a dramatic reenactment of the way the hands went down. So the hands this week are a dramatic reenactment of hands that were actually played for real money. If, it, if you guys like it, let me know in the comments down below and we'll be sure to use that version of it every time. All right, so I'm gonna do something different this week with ox sauce hands. I'm not gonna give you the result this week. It's gonna be next week, but here's what I'm gonna do. If you guys leave a comment down below what you think the correct line is here, if you tell me this is what you think he had and you're correct, I will give you a shout out in the next video along with the answer to the Auk Sauce hand. Let me know what you guys think. So in this first hand, the under the gun player opens to $20 and we look down at Ace Jack off. Sometimes three betting this hand, but because it comes from an under the gun player, I'm just going to call. This kid is kind of a loose cannon sometimes, so he is capable of making moves. The flop comes ace, deuce, nine with two diamonds. The under the gun player bets $50 into $40. Uh, already over betting. I don't think we can let our hand go just yet because they can just over bet every time we flop top pair and get us to fold. The turn is a five of spades. It's really not that scary of a card, but he decides to continue this time. He's gonna load up for $200 and put it out there. So I decide to call. So I I needed... The river is a four clubs, which does put a four card straight on the board. And he decides to go all in here for $450. Just under a pot size bet. This is a super awkward spot. We have Ace Jack. What hand is he repping for value that he decides to take three streets on this run at? Let me know what you guys do. 
This next hand was played against a buddy of mine. He actually limped under the gun in this spot and five other people come in. I look down in the big blind at ace, queen of clubs. It's a very beautiful hand. I'm definitely gonna raise this up. I probably size too small, but I went to $25. The under the gun player makes the call. So we go heads up to a flop of ace, 10 for total rainbow. I'm gonna check my hand here, I'm gonna be a little deceptive, and he checks back. The turn is a jack, giving us a gut shot to the nuts plus top pair. Second kicker, we check again, and he also checks. And then the river is what I perceive to be a brick nine. This time I decide to make it look like I'm just gonna do a full pot size bet to try and take it down. I bet $50 and he ends up re-raising all in to 150. So what are you guys doing here? Are you guys paying this off? Uh, it's a, quite an orthodox line, but against this type of player, I think this line is probably best. What are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments down below. You'll get a shout out next week.